Gary, you must have enjoyed your, your weekend after Saturday. Yeah, well, it's the it's the uh, industry we're in where you win a game of football, your weekend's always nicer. So uh, it was um, it was a good weekend on the back of you know I went to Spennymore. Um, so you know we've got to continue it now. We, we we talked about you know the bad week that we had, and we had to put that behind us. And there's only one way to do that and turn that week into a positive of you know learning that. If we're going to win games, we need to do things better. Um, possibly mentally a little bit stronger um, in where we're going to go this season, what we're going to do. Um, and I think, you know, that's that's come together certainly in the last two games. Yeah, it's all about consistency, isn't it? Why do you think, not just your side, but all sides at this level seem to struggle so much to get consistency in their performances? Um, I think I'd be a millionaire if I knew the answer to that. You know, it, it's it's what the game is. You, you've got you've got um, you've got you know good players, and people talk about what are good players, what are good teams. Um, you know, good players are the consistent ones, and good players are the ones that go on to make a a good living out of the game. And and you know, good players um, always always produce when when need when needed and. You know, players. It, it's it's a tough one because you know players have got the ability, and we talk about this. And you know, the mental the mental strength and and the psychological part of it of of being able to go out every game to to perform to a level um, is what it's about. Um, but you know, we've we've got to do that. The players of of you know the teams that are going to get get out of this league or any league are the teams that do that. And, and you know, we've got to make sure that. Well, I've got to make sure that you know my group of players are, are switched on every game and are mentally right for because I don't worry about the the ability side of it. It's it's the other side. So you know that the, they're mentally right for every every game and, and every challenge that's that's put in front of us. Um, and every and every game is different, like like we talk about. So you know, on the back of two wins, so it's a, a different mentality. You know, to being on the back of of two defeats. Mm-hmm. Um, so how do you how do you approach that? How do you train that? Um, how do you come in <clears throat> tomorrow at half past six as a player to go and perform at quarter to eight for ninety five minutes again on the back of two wins? And you know it is different. So it's um, it's a fantastic game. Uh, it's a fantastic um, you know living that I love that I, I want to be involved with. And so it's that side of it that you know motivates me. And do you ever find yourself scratching your head thinking? What if? What if we just played that little bit better against Telford? What if we put in a decent performance against FC United or a better performance and got the three points that most people thought you would have done? Then you look at the table and you'd have been right up there. Yeah, well, we're right up there. You know, we're fifth, and you know, um, but you know, you you're in dream world when you say that. You know, because every manager in the Premier League would be would would be saying that. You know, um, if if only if we'd done this, if we'd done that. You know, um, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about playing FC United and that if we'd have won certain games last year so um, football is is what it is there's no point in you know if only we'd done this I think that's the the, the, the negative way of, of looking at it because I think it just drags you in and it makes you feel sorry for yourself so it's uh, football's a challenge um, and <clears throat> you know the hardest thing to do is, is win football matches that's the hardest thing to do uh, we've won two now um, and we've got to go and win another one. That's the hardest thing to go and do now. And, and you know, don't get complacent. Don't think, oh, we've won two, so we can take the foot off the pedal. Uh, we're playing a team that got beat four 0 on Saturday. So you know, don't look at that and think, you know, possibly like yourself or supporters will turn up tomorrow and think, well, we've won two now, and Gainsborough have lost four 0 so we're going to win tomorrow night. Dangerous. And, and this is exactly, you know, answering your question that you asked me a minute ago. Yeah, it's all about the mental preparation for tomorrow night because you're right, I think most people will be expecting you to beat Gainsborough so that automatically puts a little bit more pressure on your side. Yeah, and, and look, and I'm saying this in the most positive way, I expect us to. I expect us to and, and, and we should. And we should because I've got the players to do it. So, you know, they know that. They're the ones who are going to be throwing the challenge tomorrow night. Um, but we're also going to have, which which we're going to have all season, and we've got to live with that, and we've got to to handle it in the right way. Is that you know, Gainsborough who got beat on Saturday, we want to come here and like FC United did, and and Telford did, um, and say we're going to beat York City because they get a lift from it. Um, 
you know, I've been over this with you, FA Cup, that's why you get shocks, because they've got the ability, but they haven't got the mental the mental strength to do it week in, week out. But when they come to play the Yorks, you know, it is their some of their cup finals. And um, we've got to make sure when teams do that, that we, we perform to our highest level. Because even at our highest level, no matter how they lift their games, we, we can still beat them. And every week you look at the results at full time, there's always at least one or two games where you think, wow, I didn't expect that scoreline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every league. Every league. You know, you go from the Premier Championship, uh, every league. Um, so not just not just our league. That's football in general. And um, what we've learnt in 10 games, you know, and, and, and one thing that's, that, that's massive is it, we, this is a tough league. I knew that, you know, from... Um, from my days before, I knew that from watching two or three games last year that this is a tough league, and I think everybody would have learnt that now from from the top right down, um, and and learnt that you know every challenge of, of you sitting in a in in a field commentating to it's it's a challenge, you know. Um, did you motivate yourself as much sitting in a grass grass field as as you did you know when you're sitting in a, in, in a plush? In the dry, I don't know, any you can answer that. I'm still waiting for plush. <laughs> well, plushish, <laughs> plushish. Compared to a glass field, plush. Um, so, you know, that's that's exactly what it is. But, you know, after 10 games, you know, everybody would have learnt a lot. Um, you know, I went down with Tamworth from, from this league and, and, you know, then got straight back out and, and, and won the league. And so I know how to do it. I know what it is. And the, the league was no different then. It was tough then. Um, and you know, obviously, my aim is to do exactly the same here this season. You play us for tomorrow night. How's John Worse not first of all? Um, it's fine as far as I know. I haven't heard anything, so um, you know the physio lets me know if there's any any problem there. So um, as far as I'm concerned, he'll, he'll be fine. And everyone else? Yeah, I think everybody else. Yeah, I think just the um, Moke and uh, Matty and, and, and Clovis are, are the only ones missing. So you know that's that's nice. Um, you know we've we've got to keep everybody everybody fit. Uh, obviously, when you see the team picks itself, really, you know we got um, we had fifteen outfield players on on Saturday, and every single one of those was involved. And I say another home game where well, you're going to have to. There's not going to be as many people here tomorrow night, are there? Gaines Brown going to bring very many. No. How does it affect you when your your team's shooting down to the away end and there's, there's there are no fans down there? Because everyone seems to like it better when York is shooting towards the David Longhurst stand. Yeah, what I will say is, and, and you know, the, the the crowds have been exceptional. You know, and, and we know um, we're playing teams more local, so teams can travel. But you know, Darlington and FC United and. and and Stockport the other day, you know, when they bring a lot of fans, you know, to be getting over 3,000 in this division, uh, regardless, is, is fantastic. So, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the chairman and everybody are delighted with the, the, the crowds that we're getting. Um, you know, even, even last year in, in that league, we wasn't getting some of the crowds we're getting this year. So it's been fantastic. But like you say, and this is what we talked about a minute ago, that, that Gainsborough won't bring too many. Um, so again, you know, mentally for the players, it, it's going to be a little bit different kicking towards that end, uh, and you have to handle it in in the right way. So we can do nothing about it, uh, but it's just another challenge of, of you know, not so many away supporters, maybe not the atmosphere, quite the same, and so that's another challenge. Um, but we have to overcome every every single one that's thrown at us. Great, thank you.